Welcome to Prime Royal Monarchy. Dive into the world of royal intrigue and fascinating tales from the monarchy. From breaking news to exclusive insights, we bring you the latest on royal events, traditions, and behind-the-scenes stories. Subscribe for your front-row seat to the regal lifestyle. Meghan's extreme request for military protection has sparked a negative response from the New York governor. The announcement of Meghan's demand provoked an intense reaction, with the governor condemning her action as exceeding reasonable expectations and ignoring security procedures set in place by the city. Despite already having notable precautions in effect through both NYPD and private event security measures, Meghan persisted on requiring skilled army personnel to accommodate her safety during the Diana Awards ceremony. The unnamed governor of New York expressed dissatisfaction with Meghan's request and condemned it as inappropriate, stating that her disregard for the city's resources and its citizens' safety was evident. In a statement, he emphasized the importance placed on securing all visitors to the area, including royals, but asserted his belief in Meghan Markle's demand for military-grade bodyguards being ridiculous since they were incapable of accommodating such requests. The governor reinforced confidence in their law enforcement and security team's ability to provide enough protection at Diana Awards ceremony ensuring every attendee is safe. The governor proceeded to censure Meghan for her perceived entitlement and seeming disregard of the city's security measures. He emphasized that Princess Diana's commemoration is a public affair, thus necessitating the safety of all attendees, including ordinary citizens. In preparation for the Diana Awards, Meghan encountered yet another obstacle aside from facing opposition from the governor of New York. Reports stated that she made a plea to utilize a private jet to take herself and her family to attend the event. Sadly, this request was swiftly turned down by organizers. With emphasis on honoring Princess Diana's memory and acknowledging young people's achievements, accommodating indulgent requests were beyond their means as verified by an organization spokesperson who said, the Diana Awards is oriented towards philanthropy, hence we lack adequate resources for lavish desires or wishes put forth even if it comes from royalty. Meghan's trip to New York City has sparked a renewed discussion about her perceived entitlement and use of royal status to secure preferential treatment. Some view Meghan as disregarding security protocols and believing she is exempt from the rules that apply to others. Criticism has mounted, with one commentator stating on social media, it's important for Meghan Markle not forget she is in queen. Military-grade security or private jets shouldn't be at her fingertips whenever she wants them. She should receive equal treatment like any other member of the public attending such an event. Meghan has garnered support from those who believe that, as a member of the royal family, she deserves a certain level of protection. They feel that the New York governor's reaction was disproportionate and driven more by politics than genuine concern for security. In defense of Meghan, one advocate stated, given her high-profile status in public life, it only makes sense for her to prioritize safety measures during such occasions. The sudden response from governor seems insincere crafted solely to score political points. Despite the ongoing dispute, Meghan's trip to New York City has once again attracted attention toward her. The Duchess is under scrutiny with many expressing their doubts about her decision-making skills and whether she utilizes her royal status for preferential treatment or not. As the Diana Awards' 25th anniversary looms nearer, all eyes are on Meghan as to how skillfully she handles this situation of controversy surrounding her visit.